Oh dear. Hey, yo, buddies. Nor here with a new VTuber to analyze. And he is Fleet Admiral Idon. So, uh, before anything else, yes, I'm brown now. I'm just showing my true colors. Now, just like the previous analysis, Idonk didn't have a story lore, so I had to do even more digging up in both history and his info. And I compiled everything and got this lore I made. The lore begins. Idonk is a young fleet commander during the Second World War. He is a gifted tactician in just a young age of 23 who has led squadrons of warships into victory. He has been through several conflicts and bloodshed as the war progressed, but still remained triumphant. When the World War II ended in 1945, Idunk was placed in cryostasis as he is a valuable asset to the military to be ready when another war will rise. His tactics were a product for a successful war. Years have passed. He was awakened from his cryostasis Idunk himself doesn't know why, since there hasn't been any wars happening. Idunk felt like he lost his purpose and retired from the military. Idunk noticed the world has changed. And still, being a spunky 20s guy, he looked into the world of the internet. He became... culture. The next few days, he became a VTuber to spread the culture of his own. Now, that was a chore, but this lore is cool. No pun intended. Now, fleet admirals have an average of being in the age of their 60s because of their experience in war, and they are wise in their choices at some times. However, Idonk, being a fleet admiral at the age of his 20s, shows <laughs> it shows uh, some OP, M, uh, o OP main character vibes. But so, the cryostasis part, where'd they get that technology? Hmm, must be the Russians. Now, the Philippines has a naval force called the Hukbong Dagat ng Pilipinas, and they hauled about 85 combat ships, which is pretty nice. Now, for basic information, his name is very confidential since he is still a young and excellent tactician. Uh, some other military might kidnap him and make him work for them. So his name is Idunk, which means his birthday is on July 9, 1918, which makes him 102 years old to date. And he's a cultured boomer, according to him. Height is 5'6". Damn, just an inch taller. For his likes, he loves... He likes 2D waifus. Of course, yeah, uh, uh, twin, a hundred and two year old boomer who is still in uh, his twenties originally. Of course, he would be interested in these things. But hey, uh, uh, you do you, buddy. Dislikes cockroaches. Uh huh. Yep. Especially the ones that fly. Ugh. Oh God. The moment they start flying, we go, oh no, that's an, oh no, oh no. That's a big, that's a big pog right there. That's, the moment they fly, you just go poggers and like, uh oh. <laughs> okay, so his anime movie genres are psychological battle hype, story rich with twists. Bakemonogatari, yeah, uh, but he mentioned Bakemonogatari, uh, which is a psychological anime slash movie. The Monogatari series are uh, very difficult to chronologi chronologically, uh, what's, the, uh, what's the word, to follow chronologically, but when you get the entire story in one line, then it's actually pretty interesting. For music, electro, Japanese, orchestral, and lo-fi. Ah, lo-fi. My favorite. Uh, what kind of uh, lo-fi artist do you listen to? Do you listen to Chilled Cow? Uh, Snow? Or games? FPS? Competitive and gacha. He considers himself as a quote-unquote Valorant Pro. <laughs> yeah, but uh, he plays some Valorant 
Apex and even more games because he he uh, of course he he he's a gamer. He's uh, he's a he's a um, a boomer boomer zoomer gamer. <laughs> and also the gacha part. Well, Genshin Impact is one of one of them, and Azure Lane, which you can tell because of the of his um, of his HUD. Uh, the overlay, yeah. His overlay is very Azure Lane inspired, which is also nice. Level 200. He's a level 200 captain. Oh no, he's OP. His battle plan is to spread the culture. Yeah. Uh, he, when the moment he dunked, uh, found out of the world of anime and tansu, he, uh, he started just being a cultured guy growing his home hair uh, community yeah uh, it does community i heard is actually very very nice if everyone is very wholesome so that's a, that's a very good aspect and uh, that's the word i'm looking for become 3d so this one is a uh, cool uh being 3d has its perks too because when you get like a leap motion cameras, you can be able to move your hands with some uh, VTubing applications. But of course, 2D also has its own pros and cons, but 3D has it also has its pros and cons. And maybe, uh, maybe you can get someone to make your own model and, uh, and uh, be the virtual captain of the sea. I made, my, I made my model myself using both Blender and v Studio, which is... A diddly damn chore. Have more virtual comrades. Yes, uh, if you're gonna have a wholesome community or a, just a community, you will need a lot of comrades. He has a Discord server as well, and that's basically his community of citizens. Yes, it's a pun. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I could be your. I could also be your comrade. You don't if you're watching this. <laughs> Expand the waifu collection. I think he's referring in the gacha. If he's talking about a real life waifu collection, uh, you're becoming a pirate, buddy. Conquer the world. Uh, provide positivity. Yes. Uh, Idong is a very, very uh, positive person. He really does show entertainment in his streams, as I have seen. Uh, he always engages with his um, with the citizens. He always like uh, like he communicates with them in the in the chat. So um, if you're um, like if you're able to chat with Idong, just just show respect, okay? Because respect is good. You know, respect. Now for his character design, uh, he looks like the usual fleet commander: black peak cap on his head white commander uniform and an inner black part with gold highlights his hair is a bit messy and jet black in color however his eyes are colored periwinkle and has heart symbols in them okay so for some other information i managed to get into my list here hey i didn't say hit list uh -oh. as i was saying my list idong's favorite bread is a baguette yeah, uh, baguettes are, uh, are are a very very nice bread. It has that certain crunch into them, and also when you squeeze it, it just crunches. He is sick and tired of seeing the color blue, as he is a fleet commander just chilling in his ship for most of the time. So he uh, <laughs> he get he's tired of seeing it, so he doesn't like the color blue. Instead, he loves the color red, and according to him. It's beautiful. Hmm. According to Idong, he is colorblind and can only see red, blue, and yellow. Well, it, 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 it must be difficult, but hey, you are growing very, very fast and it's very impressive. It's very, very impressive. Idong sings pretty well and he's made a cover song on Joji or Papa Franco's song, Fear and Misery. And it's a, it's, a, it's a very nice too. You should all check it out. And um, I heard that he's played League of Legends in high school. A fourth wall break, I see. And lastly, before starting and ending streams, he goes to smaller Filipino VTubers and asks his citizens to raid those channels. 
like uh, just giving them like awareness that he just shouts out the smaller Filipino VTubers, which is very very nice, and I appreciate that kind of like like that kind of manner, just showing support of the community. And so that's it for this analysis. Now, as per usual, I will be linking all of the socials of Idunk in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want more, and so that you won't miss any other videos. I also have my Twitter in the description so that you can see me shit posting and sh uh, get some updates on what the hell I'm doing. And that's all for this analysis. I said that many times now. But then again, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.